coronavirus has claimed the life of a member of a prominent and high profile Las Vegas family. The Maloof family has lost 93 year old Phil Maloof, of course, known as Uncle Phil. My co-anchor Trisha Keen is live from home today and joins me now with more on his legacy in Las Vegas. Trisha, and what a legacy it is. Absolutely, Todd. You know, the Malou family is known for their past ownership of the Palms Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas. Also, they used to own the NBA team out of Sacramento, the Sacramento Kings. But Uncle Phil, well, for those who knew him well, they say he will be remembered for his love of music, art, and his car collection. Among the collection, he has a uh, $2.3 million Duesenberg, which won first place up at the uh, Pebble Beach Auto Club. Uh, mm. auto show which is a very prestigious thing um, but uh, my association is through the music part he, he had bought the Chicago Stadium Oregon which was a massive seven uh, keyboard if I remember correctly seven keyboard uh, theater organ and he brought it to Las Vegas and he uh, hired a full-time employee uh, a well-known uh, uh, rest restorer of uh, pipes and things at Bob Mays, and, and they rebuilt the organ in his backyard, for which he built. Uncle Phil never actually played himself. So he had this $500,000 restored, uh, one of the largest private pipe organs in the world, sitting there, and he uh, actually was not able to play it. How will he be remembered here in Las Vegas? Well, he was kind of a private man. Of course, you know, he had a financial interest in the uh, Palms, and uh, and uh, with the the uh, Maru brothers. Um, but uh, so he really didn't make a big footprint socially. Um, he was kind of a bit reclusive. His uh, legacy will be uh, certainly imprinted on our community through his uh, philanthropic works. Yes, in a statement, a spokesperson for the Palm says the Palm's family sends our deepest condolences to the Malou family in mourning the loss of their beloved Uncle Phil. He holds a special place in the property's history, and he will be remembered fondly by our community. Uncle Phil, like you, he mentioned, Scott, he was pretty much a recluse, didn't do a lot socially out in Las Vegas, um, but he never had a family. He was a bachelor his whole life. In fact, Scott tells me he wrote a book about it. And one of the things that's really interesting, if you're interested in seeing his massive collection of organs and also cars and even his house that he lived in, you can just Google Uncle Phil and it comes up. There's a whole behind the scenes look of his property. It's, it's quite interesting, but he only let a few people into his life. And Scott was one of the lucky ones uh, who would bring his senior group every year to play that organ. Yeah, what a legacy, Trisha. Thank you so much for that.